This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Well guys, now let's discuss the situation on the gold market. On the gold market you also see the reaction on the yesterday Fred statement and uh, is on the other markets across the board. So we see that market has shown the reasonable plunge down because among the other factors the gold market mostly uh, is driven, driven by the inflation. And as the quantitative easing program will be will start uh, to contract, the Federal Reserve has turned to the tapering of the quantitative easing program. This put under question the further inflation and reduce the potential of this inflation. From that standpoint, that is the negative factor for the gold. Well, um, among the other factors, well, currently you see that this was not quite the breakout because market just slightly has moved lower than the support and hasn't taken out of these lows. Also, you can see that market is floating now with the MACD predictor indicator and uh, potentially this scares the possibility for appearing of the stop grabber pattern, bullish stop grabber. But mostly uh, this market now stands on hold right now mostly due to the support that uh, stands in the same area. So you will see it on the lower time frame chart. And as I said previously, uh, it's difficult to suggest that market will leave intact these lows if we even if, if, if even we assume that market will turn to the upside it's hardly will just leave intact these lows it's probably some at, at least some washing rinse should happen on these lows this is very typical for the any markets right now and even the market will start to form the double bottom and uh, it's very often this is we could even say that currently is is, uh, is the, some sort of the rule that the second top shows the some clear out of the lows of the first uh, sorry second bottom shows some clear out of the first bottom it's very it's normal right now for the markets but in general guys i suspect that market still will continue to move slightly lower also, uh, keep in mind that on the February, the seasonal bullish trend on the gold market will come to end. And as market has shown this really move to the downside during the seasonal bullish trend, what will happen on the seasonal bearish trend? It's also the question. On the 4-hour time frame chart, uh, we see this butterfly that we have discussed previously. You see this reaction market has plunged down. And now you can see why market has stopped right here. Because that's the weekly pivot support one. So it has hit it uh, and just turned to some shallow retracement to the upside. As this move down was really fast, we could call it probably, yes, we could say that it was fast. It's very probable that some continuation will follow. And among this area and this area, there's no really a significant support stand between the weekly pivot support one and the 127 target of this butterfly. Market again has tested the weekly pivot point and turned to the downside. On the hourly time frame chart, you see another reason why market holds here. That is our ABCD target. We said yesterday that market probably will hit at minimum the 618 target. That's very often happens. Um, this 1618 stands right here. Uh, sorry, 618 on this ABCD pattern. Market has moved slightly lower due to this pattern. This we have most recent ABCD pattern that has target slightly lower than the 618 target. So you can see here, right here, you can see ABCD pattern, most recent market has completed. This move down was really fast as you can see and that points on the possible continuation after some minor retracement. The normal retracement that we could accept and can accept and said that's reasonable could be to 20, 20, 30 area I suppose on this till this consolidation maybe market even will form some sort of the ABCD pattern to the upside right here some something of that sort here we have by the way guys confidence resistance so 1233 1235 area and that will be normal if market will show retracement right to this area and turn to the downs, downside again Maybe market will show even shallow retracement right to this 
consolidation. So you can see this line probably. Okay. So it was previously resistance, support, 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 breakdown. Now it could become the resistance. So 1230 area. It's also possible. So anyway, we we would like to see the minor bounce. We do not want to see the extended retracement about the weekly pivot point and the raising of this move is reaction on the Fed Reserve statement. We need to see some minor bounce to the market uh, by this bounce will confirm and, and will hold the overall bearish sentiment on the market and hold and will, st will stay with the patrons that now are uh, forming on the 4 hour time frame chart on the daily time frame chart. So that's what um, I would like to see on the gold market right now. So that's been said, as market hits some mi minor targets and uh, weekly pivot support point, uh, expect for some bounce, probably this bounce will will be to the 1230 to 12.35 area. Uh, if market is really bearish, it should reestablish the downward direction somewhere from this area. The next destination point, the nearest destination point will be, as we said, with these butterflies, 127 or around uh, 12 even area. But as it will stand very close to the significant lows on the on all time frames, 1180, I suspect that market will still proceed to this area. So, and currently the bearish sentiment on the gold market holds. Uh, uh, now we should be ready for some minor bounce. But as I said, if market really bearish, it should continue move to the downside. So, and stand on the target and the direction to the 1180 area.